Hybrid Fox Kid, and welcome back to Dredge. In the previous episode, we finished off the Twisted Strand, and we came all the way back to the Marrow. And now, in today's episode, we are going to be heading to Devil's Spine, which I'm kind of eager for because it's a new place, and that's kind of exciting. But I'm also not eager for it because, yeah, new place, new scary things, and probably not something that's as easy as the Mind Suckers. So, what I want to do is I want to make my way to Devil's Spine, obviously, but I want to also check out these islands as they go. I know what's in Steel Point, but I didn't check the back of these islands, so we might be able to get ourselves some goodies as we go around. I also want to pick up a whole bunch of dredging items because I do want to upgrade my boat as well because, yeah, the bigger the upgrade, the better. So, yeah, I'm just going to run around and grab some things as we go and just have a little look for around the area because I do know Steel Point has some, uh, like, possible dredging spots and stuff like that, so that'll be handy dandy for me. So yeah, let's see if I can pick up some of those items, and I don't know if this lady does anything new now that she's moved over here. I think she's just having a good time. She allows me to use her ship for storage, so I'm not complaining in the slightest. But yeah, today we've got many things to be doing, and I'm kind of nervous to go to Devil's Spine. I don't know, this game always makes me nervous, but you know what, I love it nonetheless. <laughs> ah, we should be fine though. Yeah, hopefully there's some cool things around here, because we didn't really explore this much. Maybe there's probably just another crab. Hello? Because we were over there and there was the lost guy. We saved him, but we didn't really explore any further. So yeah, let's see if there's anything around the back end of the area. Hello? Got some eels. Got some more scrap there. Any like hooded figure or anything that wants to be fed? Ooh, a whisper stone. Okay, I have no use for that because I have no idea how they work. So that's not very useful. Um, anything? Nothing at all. Absolutely nothing. Okay, fair enough. Well, there's nothing over here. Hmm. Maybe a little bit further down over this way. Whee! No, there's nothing going on around here. Huh, okay, fair enough. Well, apparently nothing going on. Okay, well, let's go back to the lady, dredge up the thing near her area, and then once I've done that, head straight over to Devil's Spine. I was expecting something different to be here, but uh, apparently not. Okay, yeah, let's pick up this metal, because metal has been the one thorn in my side the entire time while getting through this area. That will be fine. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Um, I can get one more if I do this. Oh, hopefully we'll be fine. We're right next to a dock anyways. And with our new hull upgrade as well, we have a lot of damage possibilities. Like, we can take a lot of damage and be relatively okay. So, that's a good thing in my book. Hello, how we doing? I would like to park here. Okay, beautiful. Uh, let's chuck those items in storage. Yes, yes, yes. There we go, beautiful. And then let's have a quick nap. There we go, beautiful. And also, in the previous episode as well, we finished off one of our books, which I think was... I think was getting over it with Mind and Body. Was that the one? Or Plan for the Future? I don't know, it was one of these two. So we either have a 15% resilience to pain, or not reduce fishing stocks. Oh, not bad at all. Yeah, I don't know which one I got. I know I read both of them relatively close to each other. Um, okay, well, let's undock. And let's head over to Devil's Spine. Joyous days. I don't like the name Devil's Spine. Everything else sounds so much more inviting. We have the Twisted Strand, the Stellar Basin. Then we just have the Devil's Spine. It's like, yay, that sounds like fun. So before I actually go into open waters, because I know something scary lurks there and it's got to get me, Okay, so it's essentially what I'm facing right now. I do want to stick close to possible outlets of island because, yeah, this Leviathan appears, I don't want it to appear near me. Because I know it will. I just don't want it to. <laughs> it's quite simple, really. Uh, I hope I'm going in the right direction. Oh, hi, Whale, how you doing? I'm not going to act like you scared me and I just didn't scream. <laughs> God damn it! Okay, beautiful. So we're heading over here. Ooh! This place is cool! And kind of nerve-wracking. Okay, so we have geysers again. Joys. Oh, this place seems like fun. Hello! How's everyone doing? Oh, hi friend! How you doing? A man meets you at the dock, bracing himself against the wind and the spray. Oh, rapturous day! A fresh disciple carrying me atop the waves. Come ashore, weak thing, and rest your weary soul. I'm just passing through. Nonsense! Your arrival is providence from the deep itself. I've been calling, and now you are the answer. The rite of purification is almost at hand, and you are to be my replacement. 
Okay, apparently I'm listening. Your trial begins immediately. Tell me, what does your spirit seek? Um... Happiness? <laughs> ha! Merely an excuse to halt the search for something greater. Happiness is, by definition, a compromise. And your flesh, what does it crave? Um... I don't know, the chill of the water. <laughs> I sense it in you, a glimmer of what wait below. Finally, what does the world deserve? Um... Nothing? <laughs> exactly, and yet it takes endlessly, harvesting, draining. But soon it will know it has taken too much, and it's already too late. The trial is concluded, you still have much to learn, but that knowledge will be delivered unto you in time. Now, your role, as my initiate, is to act as the herald of the purge, just as I was for the one before me. The nearby spire blazes with eternal fire, yet the stone hearts of these three idols lie barren to the void. Retrieve three fathomless flames from the crags behind us and ignite the crucibles. Visit the shrine of the deep. I will mark them. They will offer further guidance, and I must provide no more. Okay, you sound like a good time. Uh, let's check the statues. Which statue do you want to look at? Uh, the left one. The statue holds a stone crucible. It's empty. Oh, okay, so this is just to pop things into. Okay, so that's for a bit later. Stone columns. The stone columns of the temple are carved with ancient pictures and text. Which carving do you want to look at? Um, the swarm of small creatures. The carving shows a swarm of small fish surrounding a boat. The ravenous children. Alone, they are nothing. Together, they summon her. Her? Who's her? <laughs> Beneath the word, somebody has added a crudely scratched note. Do not let them grip you. Burn them anyways. The stone column of the temple is covered with ancient pictures. Um, large eyeless beasts. Yay. The carving is of a large fish with its eyes crossed out. The unseeing mother. When the starving cannot eat, she approaches. Oh! Beneath the word, somebody has added a crudely scratched note. Blind, but can hear her children. Avoid at all costs. Please don't say that's what's in this place, please. <laughs> um, okay, so hint, don't make noise. But I'm in a boat. <laughs> the carving shows a bubbling underwater vent. The breath of salvation, it burns those who mean harm. Only pure remain. Beneath these words, somebody has added crudely scratched notes. Protection, follow the magma, find them. The stone columns of the temple, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I'm assuming those are hints. So, don't go near the unseen mother. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Uh, what is it? What am I supposed to be doing? You are to prepare the ritual. You must light the stone crucibles around the temple with the three fathomless flame. You will receive further illumination at the three shrines of the deep. They are scattered about not far from here. Anything else? Uh, I'm looking for sunken relics. Relics, you say? Perhaps one such as this. He pulls an antique pocket watch from inside his robe. Droplets of sea spray crackle and cease in the air around it. You're drawn to it, I see. It found me during my right of proving as I scavenged for the creatures of power. It sapped my spirit when I first recovered it, but it came to appreciate its strange nourishment with time. As will you, when the ritual is prepared, it will be yours to carry forth. Anything else? Oh, joy. Oh, what is that scroll? I found it. At the end of my other life, it washed ashore as great gifts do. It took some time for me to decipher the rune. It speaks of an incomprehensible door. And those wretched twisted fish that swam through their flesh is the closest thing to a key. Anything else? Okay. What other shiably? They are pretenders, failures that make a mockery of the deep. I tried correcting their ways, but as soon as I saw they had lost their path, I left them to their ceaseless hunger. Oh, that's the rogue fellas! Oh, I found a couple of those. Wait. Please don't say the mother's after me because they're hungry. I didn't feed all of them. I only fed two. Uh, okay, let's quickly undock. I do want to quickly grab this cloth while I'm here. And this area looks... Ugh. I don't think I like this area very much. It's really unnerving me. Like, way more than any of the other areas. Can I go back to Twisted Strand? I like that place. That place was fun. <laughs> it was actually not terrifying. Okay, I want to get all of this because when is any other chance to get anything that's close to a dock in this place? And then we'll go and check the map and see what else we need to be doing here. So we need to get some items. And something about the water spout said follow the magma. So I'm assuming maybe the magma might help me in some way. Okay, you guys go into the story. I also want to find my merchant lady as well. Okay, so let's rest. Joys. And yeah, let's hope there's no big bad. Granted, big fish, no eyes. Here's you. I don't like that. <laughs> okay, let's check the map. 
Okay, so I might want to head there first because there's a dock there and it's our first one. And I can hit each area as we go. Yeah, let's go do that. So let's undock. And let's go for a handy little jaunt. Yay! We're going to have a good time. Ooh! Ooh, Stingray, hello! Or, or a manta ray, something like that. Oh, look at him! A pale skate! Oh, well, ain't he a cutie? The volcanic fish, so he'll be handy dandy. Uh, there we go, I'll pop you there. Okay, hopefully the merchant's over here. Oh, she is beautiful. Okay, let's go say hi to her. And let's hope nothing wants me dead. Ooh, there's a note there. Hello, note, how are we doing? Um, I see something red. I've got the note. Eee! Ah, something's after me. Eee! <laughs> uh, spooky, scary. Park the boat. Ow! Um, I'm parking the boat. You can't touch me. Bye! Ah, something was after me. I didn't like that. <laughs> Hi, traveling merchant. How you doing? You did not just see me come crashing into your area. Okay, let's sell some things. Oh, 52 bucks. Not bad. Okay, so there's already things chasing me, and I don't like that at all. Um, let's chat to her about this area. Uh, hey again, come by for a chat. What is this place? Mm. Some kind of ancient civilization must have lived here. Judging by the state of the building, things didn't go well for them. Oh god. I can't imagine they built this around the active volcano, so the volcano must have become active sometime after they founded their city. <sighs> I guess the volcano caused them to leave, or wiped them out, one way or the other. All in all, it's a pretty unhospitable place. I'm not really sure why I come here. Is there anything else you want to talk about? No. I'll be going, I suppose. Okay, let's check the floating docks and just chuck a whole bunch of things into all of these possible upgrading spots because that's the whole reason why I got all this stuff. I want more storage space, gosh dang it. Okay, got that one. I think I just need one more bit of wood, actually. Ooh, and then I'll just need the money for it, which isn't too bad. Oh, I need one more wood and one more scrap metal. Ah, that should be fine. We should be able to work that out. Okay, we've got that one, and then we got this one. Do, 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 do. There we go. Oh, Solid Daddy wins it. There we go. Okay, so we got that done. Not bad. Oh, I did want to get more... Wait, actually, can I change my decision? Yeah, two scrap metal and a bit of wood. Can I... Oh, I can. There we go. I'll change that, because maybe a light might be more handy in this area. Oh, I was like, where did my stuff go? And I also want to drop down crab pots, so maybe I'll drop the crab pots around the pontoon, so... I can just run quickly to my lady. <laughs> uh, there we go, let's do that. Upgrade this. Yay, we have another light space. So that might mean I can do some shopping? Oh. Can you give me a light, please? I don't know how much money I'll need. It's like 391. Jeez, okay, what about... How much can I sell this light for? Mm, actually, that's enough. So let's uninstall. Wait. Oh. I'll need it. Oh, that's a bugger. Okay, yeah, I can't put on the big light because my boat won't fit it because it's in an L shape. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Okay, I suppose I'll buy this then? Might as well. I have more lumens, so not bad. So 285. That's not bad. No, that should be fine. Okay, so let's sleep. Yeah. Let's sleep. We can drop down some crab pot. And then we'll see what's going on with that little fish. <laughs> I don't like the idea of that little fish chasing me. He may be small, but he's still scary. Um, okay, so let's undock here. Hello? Ugh. Yeah, I see them floating around. I don't know if it's just because they're abyssal. Uh, what am I doing? Crab pots. Okay, I'll pop one here. 6.3, 11, I don't know, 13, and there we go. Okay, pop them all really close so I can get some money for them. And what was the place I was looking for? Hello? Oh, there's just some orcas. Uh, oh, I really don't like the red things. <laughs> they really freak me out. Okay. Um, so let's quickly check my map of where I need to go for this part. So I need to go in here. Oh, wait. I damaged my boat. Oh, no, I didn't. I crashed, but apparently it wasn't anything bad. Okay, let's just... Da -da 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 -da. Okay, luckily with me, ow, I can also, ow, <laughs> uh, what's the word I was going to say? I can also use my banish ability. Not that I really want, oh, come on, not that I really want to use it, because apparently it can tell when I need it, and I'm like, I don't like the idea of something thinking it knows me. 
Um, hello? Um, hi, how's everyone doing? Hopefully with the big fish, it can't actually maneuver around this kind of area. A stone shrine, an upright slab, bears its carving. Two heavily plated creatures locked into battle. A lower slab holds the two shallow groves. They look like crab pot guys. Um, okay, wait, is this where I need to be? Are you what I need to be doing? Oh, you are too, okay. So with that being said, I need to get some crabs? Good thing I did just drop off my crab pot. I'm um, just trying to maneuver around these geysers. I don't think- Ow! My boat will like that too much. Oh, I destroyed my rod. Okay. Well... Hopefully I can get some fellas. Hello! No crabs? I think I might just sit there and wait the day out. Uh, I could go say hi to anything else that's around, but no, nah, I think I'll just sleep. Might as well since I'm already here. And also, something I discovered for between episodes is I can wake up whenever I want. Ha ha! So now when we need to wait for night, I don't need to just sit there and boat around and wait. I can actually just sleep. Okay, so with that being said, can I now check for crabs? Ooh, a volcano snail! Oh, look at the little fella! He's so small! I love him! Okay, got a snail. Oh, gosh! Oh, you're a freaky fucker! I don't like crabs. Crabs scare me. <laughs> okay, you can go there. And I needed one more. Um, I don't think they were two spider crabs. Hello? What's up? Where's the other one? One, two, three, four. Oh, wait, which was the one that had the spider crab? Oh, okay. So that's another spider crab. Okay, so we can at least drop one of them off. That should be good. Oh, I do want to kind of fix up my boat because a certain someone crashed it again <laughs> again not pointing fingers at all yeah you're a different kind of guy uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. we've got a spider crab hmm okay i don't like all these extra sounds gang can you please calm down with yourself not good for the bone not good for me i'm too nervous for this game <laughs> okay so since i can't do anything with this spider crab Let's have a quick nosy at my encyclopedia. See what this other crab is. Okay, what are you? You're a 0 to 25 meters. Okay. So I still need to just drop off the thing anywhere and just hope he appears. Okay, well, I suppose that's going to have to work. So let's uh, sell these guys. Doo -doo -doo. Let's sell you, sell you, and you can go to storage. And then I need to repair my boat because the one thing I hit was my bloody fishing rod. <laughs> Uh, okay, Sh uh, not you, shipyard. There we go, 30 bucks, okay, that's not bad at all. Okay, so we got that done. Let's maybe head to the second area? Where's the second area at? It's on the back side. Yeah, might as well, let's head to the second area and see what's going on over there. Uh, undock, and let's go! We should be fine, I've got plenty of time. Hello? Okay, so it looks like these guys, they're predetermined in a spot. So they don't just randomly appear, unless it's like if I have high panic. Oh, that's a possible explosive. Oh, a big fish! Oh, that's one of the rare fish. That's going to be handy dandy. What are you? Are you the unseen mother? I don't like the look of that guy. Oh, I don't like the sound of any of this stuff. I'm just going to... Through here, cruise around, try and get this note. I do need to read the other note as well. Hello? Uh, oh, come on. Okay, I suppose I'm doing it. It's glowing, so it must be important. Um, okay, please hurry up. Shapes in the deep. Pursuit added. Okay. I'll be going then. Nice and cruisy. Is that the unseen mother? I hope so. Or oh, hope not. Oh, this music's terrible. I don't like any of the music in this area. Okay, I'm gone. Goodbye. Have a good day. <laughs> I don't like you being here. Okay, we're still waiting for items to come together. I said I was going to go back over there, but that kind of spooked me. Okay, yeah, let's dock. Yeah, I'm also worried, like, I can't just sit in my inventory when I'm floating around, can I? What are you? Ancient stone tablet bearing a strange glyph. Maybe the trader at the Little Marrows knows something about this. Okay, um, what's the pursuit that was added? 
Light the statues, visit the trader. Okay, so... I found an ancient stone tablet with a strange glyph. Looks similar to the ones I saw in the trader's desk in Little Marrow. Oh, okay, so that's something completely different to what I was doing. So I'm assuming what I'm currently doing at the moment is what I need to do is get the crabs and light the flames. Mm. I'm assuming that's what I need to be doing. Okay, you can go to storage. And let's... Let's just rest. I just want to get that other fish so I can get at least one of the flames done. <laughs> uh, well, the other crab, which is terrifying. Also, what's that bigger fish, the Unseen Mother? I really hope it is. I really, really hope it is. Uh, we've got another snail. I like this fella. He's kind of cute. To be fair... Oh. Being around here should be fine to just get the crab because I need to put him in an area that's like between 0 and 25 meters so I'm doing okay I just need to get the right bloody fish don't think I need to, oh maybe I do need to upgrade my crab pot oh there he is a squat lobster oh look at this guy he looks like he's having a bad time okay so let's I can't fit him anywhere let's put him there um, Tetris. Okay, you can go back in the pot. There you go. I can't? Oh, okay. Um, can I put you back in the pot? No, I can't. I I'd rather keep this guy than one of the crabs. Uh, let's discard you. Don't know how much money he costs, so I feel kind of bad for doing that. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, I swear. Okay, let's drop off this guy. Do, 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 do. Nice and easy and smooth. What Okay, we got this. Yes! Good steering! Oh god, this place is way too tight quarters for me. Oh, I'm so gonna crash my boat. <laughs> there we go, have the squat lobster. He is so cute. There we go. I hate lobsters as well. The rock splits with an almighty crack. It crumbles away, revealing its core. Woo! Some goodies. Uh, storage, storage, storage. Oh yes, we got another plate. And then a fathomless flame, a cold, unnatural flame. Dark shapes swirl and flicker inside. Ooh, okay, I'll pick you up. We'll go straight back to the... Ow. Eh, ow. Ow. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm trying my best. This is way too tight for me. Okay, well... Well, I suppose we've got to go back to the fish lady because I crashed my boat again. We'll repair up and then we'll head over to the guy. Drop off one of the flames, see what he has to say to me about it. Um, okay, so we've got fish market. Yeah, let's see what sells for more. 89! And I discarded him? Oh, god dang it. Okay, fair enough. That's fine enough, I suppose. Okay, and let's heal my boat quickly because, again, won't comment too much, but if someone crashed their boat. <laughs> okay, let's undock and head 08. Uh, it's 8.43. We should be fine. Okay, yeah, let's head back over to this area and talk to the guy. So, yeah, it looks like those fish do hang around in the same spot. Hello? Why is there a scary noise? I don't like that. Not at all. Let's get ourselves some fish! Okay. No. <laughs> I'm quite frankly terrible at this minigame. Whoa! Big fella! Hello! Oh. That wasn't a rare guy? Okay, I suppose not. I also want to get explosives from my fish lady. Because she can give me good things. Okay, beautiful. Wee! Hello, friend! I'm back! I've got the thing you asked for. I got one of them. That's going to be good enough for now because I am genuinely freaked out by this place. I don't know. It spooks me. Okay, let's do the one on the left. Let's chuck in one of the flames. There we go. A cold flame roars in the statue's hand. Which statue do you wish to look at? Okay, is that all? You're not going to say anything like, Ha ha, you did it! Congratulations! Uh, I've lit some of the flames. I can see that, but we cannot proceed in darkness. All three must be lit. Okay, fair enough. Ha! Huh. Also, let's also read the note. Um, we got a new message and it's got question marks. My darling, my darling, I have found you at last. When you left, I was scattered to the winds, but now I feel almost whole again. There is one thing left to do, throw me back. Okay, well, that's quite alarming. Um, you know what, you do you. You do you, lady. Okay, joys, but I think with that, I might leave this episode here. And in the next episode, we are going to head to the other areas. Wait, wrong button. Yeah, we're going to head up there and over there. 
and maybe even check out back there because that's someone completely new because my pontoon lady's down there maybe even check out that which is slightly outside of the devil spine but that's besides the point point. and we can hope that the unseen mother is that big yellow fish because to be fair if it's that big i'm not going to complain because i don't want anything bigger than that <laughs> i'll freak out too much but yes i'm gonna leave this episode here if you guys like the video give the video a thumbs up and maybe subscribe if you want to stick around or can i see you guys next time see ya